Okay, what's up guys? How's it going? I'm Dax. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about values, or more importantly, value. What do you value in life? What's important to you? What do you care about? Because what I've noticed from talking to people, the things that you value, the things that you care about, what you think is important, you only think that because someone told you it was. I'm going to say that again. Ev everything that you care about, everything. Most likely, you think that because someone told you it was. Unless you've become self-aware, unless you've realized what you want to care about, most of what you care about, if not all of what you care about, you only think it's important because someone told you it was. Especially for people getting GCSEs, going to school. The only reason you care about GCSEs at school is because someone told you it was important. Quite obvious that a lot of people just don't care about school. You don't value it. You mess about in lessons. You're not paying attention to the teacher. You're talking in class. You don't value school. If you value anything, you would take it seriously. You would want to get the best that you can. You don't value school, you value other things. And yet still, when those results come out, people are still upset. So there's two points there. You decide what you value, but then if you don't value something and you don't take it seriously, you can't get upset that you didn't do well in it. There's so many things that you probably care about, which to you shouldn't matter. Everyone's gonna have different things that matter. But to you, they shouldn't matter. The number one thing, people's opinions. The reason why you care about people's opinions is probably because as a child, you were told to stop doing something because it's disrupting other people, because other people might not like it, to consider their feelings. And now, you stop yourself from doing so many different things because you're worried about what other people think. That's just how it's turned out. That's how society is. So many people close off in a box because you're worried, you value other people's more opinion. You value other people's opinion of yourself more than your own opinion of yourself. You're too worried to try and be something that you want to be in case who you are gets diminished in other people's eyes. You know that you're trying to get better, but other people might see you trying to get worse so you don't do nothing. Because you care too much about other people's opinions. That's what you've decided to value. Other things that you care about. Family, friends. Now, of course you can love your family and friends. I'm not going to say they're bad people. But for some people, you don't have the best family. You have negative friends. And you're too busy valuing it. You have to decide what's of the, what's the value to you. You have to really think, what do I care about? Not what do other people want me to care about. Not what do I think other people will be happy if I care about. What do you care about? What's going to make you happy? What are your values that's going to move your life forward? Think to yourself. What do I care about? What do I value? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Non-stop, I am being told, make sure you have a job, study hard, get a master's. I don't want to do any of that. If anyone has the choice, why would you work for 60 years, nine to five or even more, for money so you can relax and retire at 50? What, what are you doing at 50? Like, I'd rather chill now I work harder. Sure, that might be more difficult, but that's my, that's me. Let me decide that. I'm. Don't let other people decide your life for you. Don't let other people decide what's important for you. So many people. I'm going traveling in a month, and so many people asking me, "Oh, how are you going traveling? How are you doing this?" Because I want to. If something is important enough for you to do, you'll find a way to do it. Easy as that. If you really want to learn a language, you'll do it. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Because you can find time in the day to sort out any emergency. If anything was important enough for you, you would figure it out. Because it's all on you. And you can't complain. Once you have those values, think to yourself, what do I care about? What do I care about? What do I value? What's important to me? Where do I want to go in life? Once you have those answers, then you can decide how your life should look. Then you can decide if caring about other people other people's opinions is useful then you can decide whether school is useful then you can decide whether exams is useful studying working traveling learning things having a house living in the same country staying with your family having a wife having a having a girlfriend whatever you decide what works best for your life you have to come up with your own values because you are worrying about things that other people have told you is important and based on your life it actually just isn't you should be able to do whatever you want once you've got to that step once you've you've decided 
what you care about. You've decided how your life's gonna look. You've decided where you're going. The last thing is to not complain about it. Because now you've got your own life planned. You've got your own thing. Now the responsibility is on you. So you can't complain. If the responsibility is on someone else, you can't complain. You can't complain because you're letting them have responsibility. A mosquito in my face. If you're letting someone else take control of your life, it's easy to complain. But you're letting them take control of your life. You're letting them have that power over you. You decide what's important for you. You can't, there's no, there is never a need to complain. Because any situation you've chosen to put yourself in, if you're really tired at work, you choose the job. You could actually just not go into work tomorrow. There's consequences to that. But you decide, why would you complain? I'll never complain about my life. There's things that don't go well that I'll talk about, but I'll never complain like I'm not in control. Never, because I'm always in control. I make every decision. I decide if I want to sit down. I decide if I want to stand up. I decide if I want to talk to someone. I decide everything I do. And so do you. So do you. There's some things that you have to do because you've decided something else. You've decided you want money. You've decided you value money, so you have to work. You can't complain now. That was your value. So, think, what is actually important to me? Not what other people told me is important. Not even what everyone else is doing. Most of the world is working and doing everything else. If they're happy, cool, that's their life. Let them be happy with that. But if you don't wanna work, don't let the pressure of everyone else doing something rub off on you. Don't let the pressure of everyone else's success or where they're at in life put pressure on you because your life is your life and it might be different. I, I'm i gonna stop working in a month. All my other friends are gonna be earning money. Not my problem. I don't wanna work for the next 60 years. I wanna do something else. But then if I'm, if I'm poor in two years, I can't complain, I made that decision. And I can get another job. So you decide, are those GCSE results that important? And if you didn't get the ones that you wanted, who are you complaining to? My teacher didn't teach me. Come on, bruv. Were you listening to the lesson? Did you ask questions? Did you do extra work? If you really cared about it, you would have tried. So think, what do you really care about? And how are you going to make that your life? Don't waste your time on other stuff. I'm out. Before you go, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Follow me on my social media, Instagram, and me on Snapchat. Except for that, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.